Hey, come fist, tell the show. This a robbery, the whole of them for no sound. In this phone now, time to get them goons and kick your door down. Niggas ain't running anymore now. Bang, bang, everybody kiss the floor now. It's a all eyes on me, yeah. See nobody. Stick them up now, freeze on a silver shit. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Whitney here today. If you are new, welcome. I did get a good amount of subscribers that subscribed to my channel this past week. So thank you guys so much for subscribing. I'm truly grateful. So yeah. Anyways, a couple of you guys requested for me to do the makeup that I had in my Colored Rain, Colored Rain Lip Swatch video. So I did just that and if you haven't watched it, I will link that video down below. I think that's about it. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Now I got nothing to say. All right, you guys. I'm gonna talk to you guys later. If you have any other thing that you guys want me to like film, let me know down below because I got you. I got you. <laughs> okay, guys. So I already filled my brows in off camera and I actually didn't use any concealer to um, clean them up. So. Yeah, and I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance um, Primer, and I'm just gonna use this to prime my lids. All right, so first I'm gonna start off by using my, what is it? Oh, this one right here. I'm gonna be using Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek, and I'm gonna be using this Morphe E14 brush to apply this, and I'm gonna be using this on my brow bone as my brow bone highlight. Okay, and then next I'm gonna go into um, Creme Brulee by Makeup Week. Sorry, I forgot the name of it. Y'all, this is the same step that I do all the time. I always use the same shades for my brow bone and my crease slash transition. Okay, next I'm gonna be taking this shade by um, NYX and it's called Blame It On Midnight. And I'm gonna be using this for, well, all over my lid. I'm gonna be using this Sephora All Over Shadow Brush. This is number 12. And the crease brush that I used to put apply creme brulee was the Morphe E27. So I'm just gonna put this, saturate my brush heavily with this and then just put this all over my lid. It's like a really pretty cremesical type shade. Then I'm going to be taking Brown Script by MAC and I'm going to be placing this in my crease. And the brush that I'm going to use for this, I'm going to use my Sephora Pro Crease Brush number 10. shade just isn't giving me like the color payoff that I want so I'm gonna go into um, this shade right here it's called Coco Bear by Makeup Geek now I'm gonna go back into the Blame It On Midnight shade by NYX and I'm just gonna pretty much place this all over my lid again because that um, crease shade got a little too low Just going back in with this E27 brush by Morphe. I'm just gonna blend this out. I'm gonna be using this Morphe M412 brush, and I'm gonna be going into this shade right here. It's called Americano by Makeup Geek. Yeah. Americano, Americano. And I'm just gonna be putting this in my like outer V. This look is pulling kind of warm and I want it to be a little bit more cooler than what it is right now. So I'm just going to take this and just kind of buff it out. Okay, 
Okay, now we're going to do our eyeliner. I'm going to be using my Inglot Gel Liner number 77, and I'm going to be using this Sephora Must Have Angle Liner brush. This is number 90. And I feel like the liner was really what kind of, what makes this look because it's so matte and so subtle. So I like to go for a pretty intense link. Like of everything on your face wing liner is the hardest thing to do like you can master your brows you can learn how to highlight a contour you can get down how to do eyeshadow but eyeliner is different every single time you do it it is so i think like it's the hardest thing for me like eyeliner is the hardest thing so let's just do the other eye now hopefully hopefully it comes out looking like this one because it's always the second eye that ruins you Let's go ahead and get started with our lashes. Today I'm going to be using my Coco Lashes in the Style Foxy. These, I don't know why I bother showing the clip of it. Like, you guys really can't see it in there. So let me see if I can show it like this. These are them. I'm going to be using Foxy. And the lash glue that I'm going to be using is my Duo Lash Glue. Please, 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 you guys, do not use hair glue to put on your falsies. Please don't. I'm letting my lashes um, get a little tacky. I'm going to be using this new mascara that my job gave me. And it is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. This mascara is supposed to give you instant volume. Um, it gives you 1800% more volume in three strokes. It's smudge proof and long lasting. Um, I just use mascara to coat my lashes. This is what the bottle looks like. Yeah. Using two things to prime my face. First, I'm gonna start off with my um, Benefit Matte Rescue, and I'm just gonna apply this on my nose. And this is like a mattifying gel. Cause I have a normal skin, but you know, y'all know how makeup is. Like, it doesn't matter if you have oily, dry, normal combination skin, like. When it's time for makeup to come off, it's time for it to come off. So, you know. Before we move on, I'm going to take this Lip Whip by Kari Gran. And I'm just going to place this on my lips. Because I am wearing a little lipstick today. This is a big thing for me because y'all might not know this about me. But um, I realize that I buy a lot of liquid lipsticks. But I always, always love wearing like gloss. So... Let me use the things that I'm buying because I'm just buying it and I'm not using them. So okay, let me use it. Okay, for foundation today, I'm going to be using this YSL foundation. This is their Fusion Ink foundation and I'm in the shade B70 Mocha. And I'm just going to place this on my face like so. And then I'm just going to go pour some onto the back of my hand. Whatever will come out. I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love this foundation. It's so lightweight, but it gives me like a good enough coverage. And the brush I'm using is my, oh, it feels like, it just feels so soft. This literally feels like luxury. Um, the brush I'm using is the Morphe M439. using my LA Girls concealer in Toffee and then my Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer in the shade Y41, which is the darkest shade. I don't know, like all these makeup companies, like all their newer collections that they're coming out with, it's like, I don't know, I feel like when they were creating it, they really forgot about the entire African American race. Like we exist and we buy makeup too, but I don't know. And then I'm going to use 
use my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm going to be using my more um my Sephora collection Pro Contour brush number 79. I'm going to be setting my under eye concealer with this. Do I want to bake? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Why not? I'm going to be taking my MAC Film Noir powder and I'm going to be using this to contour my cheekbones and I'm going to be using my Sephora number 74 brush to do so. Next I'm going to be taking this Marc Jacobs highlighter like it's you know I say eyeliner it's highlighter highlighter pencil in blacker yeah in blacker and I'm gonna be using this for my waterline I'm gonna take this airspun loose face powder and I'm gonna be using this morphe m459 brush and I just want to kind of clean up my um, contour. I'll just make it a little more sharper. Take my Morphe M401 brush and sweep away all of this stuff. Put on some shadows on the waterline. And I'm really just going to repeat what I did on the top. So... I'm gonna take Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek and just place this all over my waterline. And I don't know why I'm using this brush. Like I have smaller brushes. Like I don't know why I grabbed this one. I just can't find any of them. I just lost in here. Okay, I found one. I found the one that I wanted actually. All right. go into Americano and I'm gonna push this like right on the waterline actually you know what I want it darker I'm gonna use um makeup geeks corrupt it's just like a straight black you can use any black you have I'm gonna use that in place <laughs> hey, bro, I got really tried to want to go off a beat this blush by Mac this is called sweet as cocoa Ooh. That's cute. And I'm going to take my Sephora Pro Precision Brush. This is number 59. And apply this on. Yeah. I'm going to be using ColourPop's More Better. 